Welcome to this wonderful video session again. We are going to be learning the concept of BPM, which is popularly known as beat per minute. Yes, you heard me right. Looks very simple, but more complicated than you ever think. By the end of this video, you are going to have a completely different mindset of what this BPM is all about. What you think you know about BPM, I guarantee you that you have a completely different mindset. Let's get into the detail to see. When we talk about beat per minute, we are talking about the number of beats in a device for every minute. So what are these beats that makes up these sounds in a minute? Is it the kicks? Is it the snares? Is it the hit hat? Is it your piano loop? Or what? Because when you look at this loop here, look at this very loop here, you get to see that it's actually giving you a wave that has those particular elements. That is the four. The four bits, look at it. If you count it, it's only for one, two, three, four. Then it ends at the exact end of the fourth bit. And what you need to know there is when they when they put whether it is four by four or eight, look at it. If it is eight, you are going to count to eight before you get to the eight point. That is this number of points that you are seeing. But what if this point or these sounds are not neatly arranged in this pattern? Especially in the case of tracks like Ama Piano. Ringue. They don't follow this pattern. It's only in Afro beats that you get to enjoy this type of pattern, especially the type of Zazu type of sound. Potable, it has this common pattern. If you, love if you go to my online store now, you get to see this particular one. This sound I just played now in this from, from one of these kicks and loops, percussion loops that I made. When you go in detail, you get to see it, you can get it. It's a very unique feature that I'm putting up together, made up of loops of different, different sounds that you can really enjoy while doing your special kind of DJ mixes. So they have four beats and eight beats and the rest of them. So you can go there, get it. You get to appreciate what I'll be talking about in this video when you really follow in detail. So back to our virtual DJ now. So when you look at it, as I said, are they the kicks, are they the snares or, or what? Irrespective of your foundation of how you started DJing, I guarantee you that if you don't have a clear understanding of some of these things especially this concept of counting your flow you are going to be making a complete mess in the area of your beat matching in the area of your scratches because or finger drumming all these things need to make sense to the listeners if not all these things are going to be complete noise at the end of the day because understanding this concept will really help you to put things in shape and put them in proper positioning and how you want your audience to enjoy it so back to i will be taking you to fs studio now you get to appreciate it when I go back to FS Studio now, the sound I just played, as I told you guys, I've shown you where you can get this particular sound feature, irrespective of anywhere in your eye in the world. If you have payment challenge, let me know. I'll know how to deliver it. It makes up about over 50 something. I'm putting more into it. It's going to 50 something loops there of unique sounds like this. So, this is the raw file of this particular beat I just played. So, when you go in detail, I'm going to open the rack. When I open the rack, I'm going to turn off these sounds. Then we are going to do a little experiment to know what exactly does this device count. We are going to put on the metronome. There is a metronome on here. This metronome is going to determine to know what which sound in particular does this beat per minute really count. Look at it. So this is it together with the original sound. I'm going to turn off all the sounds now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you now see, one, two, three, four. With a careful understanding of what I just did now, pay attention again. Three, four, one, two, three. You will notice some one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I, will, I will remove these sounds, these kicks that you are hearing now. Look at it. So when I remove these kicks, you will still get to hear the sound of the metronome. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it means the major force that is driving this is not even the kicks. It's the sound of the metronome at the background that the device is counting. That means your virtual DJ device, irrespective of whether it's a controller, no matter how much you buy it, this feature is running on the ground in that particular device. This is what the device is counting, not this individual. I can decide to put a whole lot of sound here. Yeah, just watch. I'm, I will not follow the pattern. But you get to see that the device will still maintain that counting. I will just put it maybe at random. Because when you pay careful attention, you see one, you see the color difference two, three, and this is the fourth. 
So each of these four makes up four four pieces. You can see one, two, three, four makes up one, makes up one bit. One, two, three, four makes up the second bit. One, two, three, four makes up the fourth bit. One, two, three, four continuously. So that is how this bit is being counted. It means the device is actually counting this first first one. One, two, three, four. So this is what the device is counting. So it's not just counting this bit as I earlier as I as it is being played. It's just that I decided to put it exactly on the individual four bit so that it will count it the way it is. That is why it's possible for me to count the one, two, three, four. And there are punctuations. We'll get into the aspect of punctuation for you to get to appreciate another aspect of what I'm going to be talking about. Let me let me play it again. I'm going to play around with this bit to get to appreciate it again. One, two, three, four. I'm going to turn off the metronome again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is a four bit kind of loop. If I decide to make it eight, you get to see the difference. You get to see that when I go it where I, in the aspect of the punctuation. Remember, no matter how good your sentence is, if you don't have punctuation in that sentence, that sentence will not really make sense to the reader. What the reader might perceive might not really be exactly what you are trying to pass, admit, pass across. Especially for those who have a very good understanding of English language, you get to know. So I'm going to play around with this bit. You get to see it. I'll move this. Rather than putting it on the first, I'll just play around with it. Oh yeah, let's play it now again. You see, the beat has changed. Tan, 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 tan. You see the same thing, but all, all, if I did... You see, the whole sound has changed, but I'm going to run the metronome again on it. You get to see what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four. 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 One, dun, 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 dun. It's not bam, bam, bam again. But the device is still able to count the fourth bit. That's so that automatically means that this is what the device is counting. So it's actually counting this arrangement, this four, four element, this four group as one, the second group as two, and then the third group as three, and then the last four pieces again as four. You can see the color variation in everything I'm talking about here. So this is what the device actually counts. Not the initial bit per minute that you think initially thought. You see? That's so when we talk about the aspect of punctuation, I'm going to play this bit in full again with this new pattern I just created with it. Then you get to appreciate what I'm talking about. I'm going to put up the all the elements on, then you get to see them one after the other as I go further. So I'm introducing them one after the other. You get to see. So this is our piano and some guitar loop. Okay, let's run the beat on it. I'm sure you're enjoying it now. You can see how the whole thing is making sense. I'm going to introduce other elements again. So while I try to run it, I'm going to put on the shaker loops on it. Look at it. This is the shaker loop, you can see. The whole thing still makes sense. The whole thing is still making okay. sense as I get to do it. So you, you get to hear a particular sound, our J. That particular sound is the punctuation I put into the sound. So whenever you are playing this, the moment you hear that awoje, look at it here. This is the sound that I'm talking about here. To it, you can see how the sound is being grouped. By the time I move it to this very particular point, you get to see it's exactly at the end of the fourth beat. So it means if we are going to have a four by four loop, it's going to count from this one. Once you get this four, it will go back to one. So at this very point, I decide to put a punctuation mark, which is this particular sound here. Okay. So this particular sound is a punctuation. Once you hear that sound, just know that you have already passed the fourth beat. In some cases, some we like to put it before the end of the fourth beat, so that it reminds you that that is how you come to the song. So whenever you are hearing this sound in this beat, you get to see that you are actually going back to the first beat again, which is this first point. Then you get to see it is also here again. Look at it. You now see. So that is how punctuation are being introduced into sound, irrespective of the kind of music you are listening to. This individual element really matters a lot. You need to understand how they work. You really need to appreciate it. I believe you now have a clear understanding of what I was talking at the beginning. So, thank you for being there. More will be coming your way. You